Okay, I've been working on the Hoover modification blog sequence, whatever I want to call it, whatever. But uh, I've come up with any number of little doodads that uh, I need to kind of piece together, put a few ideas into my head. But one of the things that I don't have is enough actual videoing of you know, uh, the rocker arms and valve trains in motion. So I went out and did a little videoing of my system down there in the garage today. It was a nice day to be down there. And then I found another video out on the internet featuring a 1600. So let's take a look at those real quick. And uh, maybe I'll have this video, well, not this video, but the next video in the sequence up in a day or two. So I just went out for a little bit of a drive, get a little bit of heat built up in things. It's uh, not so hot that I can't like pull this down, but the, the valve cover is a little bit warm. So I'm going to put some gloves on to open it up. All right, everything's looking pretty good in there. Let's see if we can get some extra light on the the subject without throwing things too far out of whack here. Here's a clip of somebody's 1600. It's totally stock. All right, so this is my motor. Uh, I've cut the speed down by a factor of four. And I've got, I believe on these rocker arms, the groove. I mean, this is a bolt-in shaft. I think it's got the grooves on it, so. We can go from stock to stock plus the grooving. So this one is the one that I scarfed a while back and I stuck into, I don't know, one of the Hoover mods about, I don't know, two or three videos ago. And this particular motor, of course, is fully Hoover modded, plus they have stuck the drilling or thread remover, whatever you want to call it, to get some additional oil out right up in this area. But the reason I'm going through this particular sequence is so that you can see there's kind of a progression as you go along, more and more and more and more oil going out to the head. And in order to continue on with the Hoover Mod stuff, uh, evaluating things, I need to kind of know how much oil is passing out of the system. Because when, I've pretty much done the analysis, and when I put it out there, you're going to be like, no, that can't be right. And I'm like, yeah, it is. You just look at that video that you're seeing right here, if the mouse is cruising around in the right place. Just look at that right there. Yeah, it's crazy. Well, anyway, I just thought I would throw this out here because I am very close to being uh, ready to put together the next video on the Uber mod analysis. <laughs>